Hi, welcome to the section of cardiology. This is Dr. Jaitley. Uh, in this section, I pertinently will be talking to you about uh, uh, to ask you a question whether your heart is what you eat. Well, I would extend that beyond and say not only your heart is what you eat, but also your rest of the body is what you eat. Because truly speaking, the amount of calories one puts in, the nutrition value of every calorie of the amount of food and the type of food we eat is ultimately digested, assimilated, and then travels via the bloodstream and the heart sends it to every nook and corner of your body, right from head to toes and everywhere else in between. So truly speaking, the nutrition value of the food is being assessed and digested and assimilated into every organ, into every single cell of your body. Now here's your heart, these are your lungs, that's your liver, the pancreas, the stomach, the stomach does the digestion, the intestines does the absorption, liver does the metabolic, liver is the metabolic factory, so everything goes via the liver and the metabolites are, you know, assimilated or absorbed into the bloodstream. The rest is all excreted via the kidneys and through your urine, etc. So the whole idea is wanting to see how best one can really understand the nutrition value and how do we achieve a balance of calories taken in and the calories put spent out. So remember one thing, calories put in should equal to the calories spent on a day-to-day. Now that's the good old rule of checks and balances. If you know how to manage your, your uh, accounts in the house or at your work or in your business, you earn more than you spend goes to your savings, correct? Now that's a desirable when it's real banking, but not so when it's nutrition. You eat more calories than you burn, those excess calories will go to your fat bank. And the reverse is true also if you desire to lose weight. So the key is to maintain a balance that the heart likes, and that's based on your BMI chart. The normal BMI for any individual is about 25. Now that's based on your height and weight. So there is a chart that's uh, universally available, and it's uh, across the globe, everybody follows it. So 25 to 29 puts you into a category of overweight, so here, this is where the weight ultimately belongs to. And those are your fat cells or the fat bank, I call it, because all those calories are just being pushed away into those fat cells. It accumulates as fat into those fat cells and therefore your weight goes up. So the key is that you wanna make sure your calories that you eat are equal to the calories that you're gonna spend during the day. And if that is the case, you will maintain that weight. But if you eat less or burn more, you will start losing weight. So it's a simple rule of checks and balances. There's no magical way one can lose weight. There's no magical way one can gain weight. Unless and until one applies this simple rule of checks and balances, one may not be able to maintain weight or lose weight depending, uh, depending upon how well you eat and how well you balance your calories. So. Again, remember, every single beat that the heart takes, it is sending excess amount of blood and has to work harder if you have an extra kilogram in your body. In other words, if you have an extra kilogram, I call it a kilogram, and that is what it is, then those fat cells will still require the blood to be pushed because you know they have to survive, they have to be uh, living cells, obviously, so there is oxygenation required, so the blood has to circulate through that extra kilogram, if you will, and that is extra work for the heart. So the heart does not like to work and not be efficient. The heart likes to be working but efficient, so this way, whatever your body weight that's recommended by the BMI chart, and that BMI tells you that your BMI should be 25, then the heart will say thank you. And we'll say thank you every heartbeat. So hope you learned something out of this because, uh, again, this is very, very interesting uh, aspect of your heart. And nutrition is so important to the rest of the body as well. So stay tuned for more advanced uh, heart and nutrition 
uh, discussions. Thank you for your attention.